hello, hello. I'm back, and it has been a long time since I've streamed. And hello, hello. So, I'm going to be back. playing Night Team 4, and it has been a long st start. Moving back into this. I haven't set up my camera, and I'm going to be leaving it off for the time being. And let's just jump right in, as I'm going to be playing Night Team 4 as a way to start. Prepping for the OSCP. Welcome, Agent. Alright. <clears throat> I haven't played this in a bit. I've been a little rusty. Although I have done some missions as a reason just to kind of get back into the flow. So I'll be doing that. Uh, and I'm going to be going over into the open world. Doing one of them. Ransomware and check out that document. And here we go, we got the document pulled up right here. Okay, we've got the document. This will be the overall document here. Got a mission briefing. And let's see if I need to do anything else. Let's try the world. Alright. So everything's clear. Let's run through this document. So. A cryptocurrency transaction was recently flagged in connection to the kidnapping of Severe Nygaard, husband of prominent Norwegian businessman Isaac Nygaard. When Nygaard went missing in January, his husband received a ransom request for 9 million euro cryptocurrency ghost coin, or GHT, one of the most difficult coins to trace. After months of fruitless investigations, the businessman recently agreed to make the payment but his husband has not been released. The day after the payment was made, a post on a dark web kidnapping board mentioned receipt of the exact amount of the ransom in ghost coin for 85,251.5 ghost coin to an unknown wallet on the online exchange Ghost Coin Bank, or GHTV. Our analysts suggest the GHTV servers are located with a cryptocurrency mining operation Iceland. 194 has been contacted to help local authorities to access the bank's network and gain actionable intelligence on the location of Nygaard and his captors. Determine the name of the person currently running the cryptocurrency exchange GHTB so an Oni Gru team can be, or bring them in for interrogation. I'm assuming Oni Gru is going to be their local special forces or secret police. Iceland is a sparsely populated Nordic country in the North Atlantic. It is extremely volcanically and geologically active, leading to an abundance of clean renewable energy and some of the lowest electricity prices in Europe. Alright. So we've got some documents here, some info. The mining operation or the ghost coins activity on the ground in Iceland is likely hidden behind one or more front companies. While they can obscure many of their operations, they cannot disguise power consumption. The first step to finding the location of GHTB is accessing the network of Landsverkshun. Landsverkshun.com, the main Icelandic power company supplying industry and businesses. All intrusion operations against lands Verkjun must be conducted exclusively under the Stinger OS penetration and cyber attack platform. Okay. Alright, so phase one. Let's check that out. It'll be done via the power company. And just to get some foreshadowing on phase two. Crypto mining takes a massive amount of electricity. Locate lands Verkjun employees directory for their head of client relations or business accounts. Then find and use their credentials to access a comp the company database and search for a list of their highest consumers. 
Many traditional mining, com mining and material processing operations, along with legitimate crypto mining server farms, are running all are running out of isolates, all of which require huge amounts of power. Focus my investigation solely on companies that consume more energy than their stated line of work the, should require. Okay. And we've got behind the front on our phase three here. Access the networks of the outlier companies or the ones that are using a suspicious amount of power and search their records for anything that would connect them to a server farm such as a large amount of technical staff accounting inconsistencies or suspicious receipts and invoices. Once I've isolated the correct front company, locate their employee registry and find the name of the person who's been the longest. Their senior employee is most likely going to be the person connected to GHTV. Okay. And then here we've got some info on the weakness of cryptocurrency as ransom. Several recent high profile kidnapping cases have seen the perpetrators demand ransom payments in cryptocurrencies. Notice notably Hagen, ten million US dollars in Monero, MacRite, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars in Bitcoin, and Kraton in five million dollars in USD Bitcoin twenty eighteen. In these cases, the kidnappers have sought to receive the ransom payments cryptocurrencies for its perceived anonymity. While the initial transfer of funds keeps the receiver's identity unknown, if the perpetrators seek to convert the funds into fiat currencies, authorities have a variety of means to obtain key data points about the owners of coin wallets, and they can find out who wanted to cash it out into fiat. Fun. And here's a document on op. Uh, open source intelligence for kidnapping incidents paid with cryptocurrencies. Look at that. So there's actually real world documentation on this. This would be fun. Look at that. They have happened all over the world. Mainly in Western countries. Okay. Great. So, a lot, not very many kidnappings kidnappings happening in Russia, well, at least the east uh, dirt side of Russia. There's a lot of kidnapping happening in the U.S., Mexico, Canada, very crazy stuff. So, with that, let's begin. So, the first thing that we had, I'm going to open up a notepad. That always helps. Okay, I have this here. This is just a scan that I like to use that scans both Google and Bing for 500 results each. So, let's see. Underline there. Okay. So, the first lead that we've got based on this document is... Up, it was that power company, Power Brokers, Phase One, Land, Landsbrookchen.com. Okay, I can work with that. Landsbrookchen.com. All right, so the first step is use the open source tools to look up anything that we can find about Landsbrookchen.com. So that's under DNS and virtual host mapping. Oh. Information gathering right. module that initiated. A little bit. Okay, so the URL. But this is. I want to rename this as OS Int. Oh, I'll just make this commands, honestly. Commands. Okay. Lands. I'll just call it power. That's too long. I like to see it. Quick glance. Okay, landsbrookgen.com. So I will paste that here and just copy that whole command over and start that process. Fun. Information gathering module and while I initiated. Run that one, I'm also going to do an S fuzz just to see what 
going on there. So the S is. I like to do both just to cross-reference results from a DNS search. More so a search engine search versus just buzzing the subdomains. That works pretty well as well. And we'll run the, sub, the buzzer for 60 seconds. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven subdomains. Really, it's six, www is the standard. So, let's see, this one found, oh, one, two, three, four, five, ooh, there's, there's much more when you do a fuzz attack, there's two C names. So the A is the IPv4 C names are Oh, MX Rector C names are just the other names I can go with it. And then there's MX, which is for the mail servers. So with that, I can do some fingerprinting. Information gathering which module is initiated. Real uh, uh, pen test world. Fingerprinting is just running Nmap or other vulnerability scanners to see if they're going to be vulnerable. So here, uh, fingerprint modules will fingerprint the system or software technologies on that port and it will check if it's vulnerable. So realistically you could just run an nmap with the scripts tag flag option switch whatever you want to call it and just run the uh, scripts equal scripts script equals start phone star and you can find it that way too. So let's run this here. I'm just gonna start from the top. This one has more results so I'm just gonna run this one. This one has everything that the, uh, the search engine results prompted and more. They've got more subdomains there, so I'm gonna go with that. So fingerprints, I'm gonna do the www subdomain right here. So it's going to go there. And I'm gonna just note down which one is actually vulnerable instead of noting down all the results. So that one's fine. That, that didn't get any hits. Clients, client tab completion, boom, look at that. It's a slow and steady process. Nothing there. All right, I want to be able to do this faster. So I'm going to open up a second fingerprint. Information printer. gathering module initiated. So I wonder if Nmap works. It doesn't, but that would be really cool. So that was... Oh, we've got a vulnerable one. That's blue. It is right here. Vulnerable on Axigen port 4343. Let's see what Axigen is. I'm curious. Most of the services that are noted in this game are actually real life services that will typically run on the network. So I'm, I'm curious about the Axigen service. The more you know. Loading at the speed of light, I can see. All right. What's going on with this? This just crashed. That's not good. I gotta close some of these tabs. There's too many things going on here. Let's see. These are pen test reports. This is like the slowest I've ever seen a tab load. I gotta close more things. Okay. Uh... Loading at the speed of light here. Yeah, closing. What's that might help? Axigen Services. It's an SMTP or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol receiver. Okay. Linux Docker based mail server. Okay, so it's a mail server. Axigen is a mail server. That's fun. Okay. That's good to know. Alright, so their mail server on their careers subdomain so basically it's their hiring website or 
access portal and they get a lot of emails and that's just vulnerable okay that's pretty nifty uh, all right so that was careers i want to do fingerprint on their mail which is specifically their mail server which is funny okay so careers is vulnerable Um, is vulnerable and it uses uh, via Axigen SMTP mail protocol. It doesn't have a version number, so it just seems that it's just vulnerable in general on port 4343. Do for three. All right, and mail's fine. What about finger media? This will save it inside Stinger OS, so I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just gonna do admin finger admin. All right, nothing on media. Do meet. And let's see how admin works out. No, that's not vulnerable. Let's go Burful. Wind farms, that's renewable energy. Cool. That's pretty nifty. Iceland. Nothing on meat. Let's go the SIP. Nothing on Burwell. Let's go and check the MX2 subdomain. And with this, we're going to check out the Information Gathering database, Module, which is Stingerless's version of ExploitDB, uh, or just using Search Exploit is another way to go about it. Okay, so none of these fingerprints or end maps are really doing anything. So I'm just going to close that out, close that out, and we'll just run a Search Exploit Axigen, and we'll come back with. Okay, so CVE. 2012-2592 uh, cross-site scripting vulnerability in the Axigen mail server allows the remote attackers to inject a custom SOAP request arbitrary web script or HTML via the body of it via the body of an email through a structured stream transport protocol. So that's pretty nifty. So it runs uh, a custom SOAP request and let's, see, let's break down what a custom SOAP request is. Well, let's look at what a SOAP quest is, in general. Uh, HT... Actually, let's custom SOAP quest. That's going to be fancy. So essentially, it seems that there's a SOAP request done to the mail server uh, through HTML, PHP, or whatnot. And uh, email, when sent to the mail server, will run this code. Very useful. Making SOAP requests. XML body type, postman, content type. Okay, let's see. Open the head request headers. Oh, look at that. A soapy dreams. No, that's, that's really funny. I don't think that's a SOAP request we're looking for. Custom headers. Okay. So, what is a SOAP request? Let's see what a SOAP request is. Okay. Within a quick breakdown. XML SOAP. SOAP bindings are allowing SOAP messages to be effectively exchanged via a piece, uh, transfer protocol. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. SOAP. It's sent over SOAP web services. What is the SOAP protocol? Okay, let's see. There's so many results. There's tens of thousands more. Let's see some images to get some ideas here. So the SOAP request seems to be a format. It's a 
post request here. Right, here we go. No. This doesn't look right. I usually like to look at the images with a quick uh, breakdown, although that does not look right at all. The soap report. Oh, we're getting further and further away. So that just seems to be a, a format here. Okay, that's good enough for me. All right, so we've got the delivery method, which is uh, SST. So it's an SST. No. An SST method is a what? The music's glitching out on me. Let's see. SST method. Network. Network protocol. <laughs> Let's see if that works out. Secure socket tunneling. Ah, I see. Okay. Which is a type of VPN tunnel to transport PPP traffic. To construction stream transport. Uh, that, there we go. That makes more sense. Since the search port, search exploit results mentioned a structured stream transport protocol. So structured stream transport. See, there's a lot of acronyms that have a lot of fusion and a lot of similarities when it comes to these these cyber acronyms. Structure steam transport. It's an experimental this is according to Wikipedia though, so uh, take it with a grain of salt. Provides an ordered reliable byte stream abstraction similar to TCP. Similar to TCP, but enhances and optimizes stream management to permit applications to use streams in a much more fine grained fashion. Then it is feasible TCP streams. Okay, so it's just a different transport protocol, which is pretty nifty. Cool. All right, so back here, the delivery method. Okay, so I'm gonna run Fox Acid, which essentially Fox is a acid server connection initiated. Metasploit with the cool GUI, and it makes it really simple, which is pretty cool. And we're gonna do a simple stream. So we've got we've got uh, SCTP, UDP, SST, SPX, FCP. ITCP IP, that's, that's a lot of fun stuff. We're going to be using SST, and we're going to be crafting or, or using custom soap request. Wow, we've got all sorts of different options here. But we're going to be using soap request. The root kit, this is the fancy root kit that we get, which is like a interpreter session, but in this case, we're going to be using After Midnight, which is basically an interpreter. It gives us a, um, a shell to their computer and lets us access to the network. Uh, this one does not tell us what port it's going to be listening on, but it doesn't matter because it's automatically configured in Stinger OS and through Fox OS. So this is the, uh, the destination or the, the, the remote port, remote, the, this is the system and that's the remote domain, which is basically broken down to an IP address. Well, actually, that's, uh, I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Data forensics. Let's see if I can find out an IP address. Is that what the who is? No, is there's one of these tools that lets me who is careers. Is this only done? Should be done be able to be doable. Nope. They don't do an IP search, which is interesting. Let's see. Is it an uplink if you want? Oh! It's Faye, the AI. Hello. No? Is it really hello? Oh. Faye is... Slow. Launch, open, hex, rod, binary, Oh, uh, so this is like a an encoder. This is like CyberShot. Okay, cool. Uh, information gathering. Blah 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 blah. Da, 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 da. I 
it seems that there's that's weird. it's kind of crazy there, sh there should be some way to map an IP address this we had to be oh that's that's not it at all okay well fox acid attack launch that button Fox acid attack successful. All right. Let's Connection get completed. Into it. So I will. I'll close that out. I'm already there. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Okay. So I'm. Um, I'm in a new network. And what I like to do is do some checking out. Information w gathering I module Let's initiated. Network. It's a mapping tool. This is basically Nmap as well. I don't know why they have so many freaking tools. It's kind of so. This is basically Nmap. Blah blah blah. Uh, connect only VPN. Let's see. Connect expose apps. Oh, this also does um, Active Directory searches and other things of that nature. Network shares. So that's what this does. Netscan. That's funny. Netscan. Let's run that again. So it's checking the computer name. It's tight checking for databases, shares, blah 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 blah. Okay, so we got some network shares right here. So I'm just gonna dig on these and see if we can get any results with it. Okay, that's up to date. Up to date is as good as saying it's not vulnerable to anything crazy. Not anything old. Okay, that's that's done as well. That's good. Good. That's sweet. That's good. We got Oracle app with as well. Got MySQL. That that that, did, that database is sick. Let's check out the printers. Maybe we're gonna break it into a printer. HP Jet Direct, that's fine as well. Okay. Alright, so we've checked them all. That's fine. Alright, so there's not really anything that can be done in network share. Let's see. Uh information gathering module. It's very initiated. unlikely that there's gonna be a wireless network, so I can check that. Yeah, I know why. Um uh, it's worth a shot. Active directory. Information this is where you can gathering go to module check out initiated. The active directory on the network if there is one. Which we did see that there's one, so when we get more information about that, we can open that there. Hydra. Information no, gathering that. module the initiated. The next thing I like to check uh, is we're already in the network. We need access to, let's go back to our goal so that we don't deviate too hard. We are looking for the. Let's see. The, oh, let's access the network. Okay, I, I've already accessed it. So now, phase two, utility bill. utility bill. Locate the power company's employee directory for their head of client relations or business accounts, and then find and use the credentials to access the company database. Okay, employee directory. So employee directory. That would probably be under active directory, and that would help a lot. So let's see, if we're on a network, and I just Information I'll gathering so I module it initiated. More. Scan. Once on a network. Wow, I don't know why this game's commands are lagging. It's, it's crazy. It's, the lag is real. Maybe it's just, just like streaming. Who knows? That's, that's very possible. Rants. Oh, that's kind of deep. Oh, one moment, I, I'm, I'm pulling up the chat. Oh, no, there we go. That's that's actually very useful. If it would load properly. Oh, wait, I've got the chat running, guys. Don't worry. That's actually really the most important part. Just, just seeing all the crazy stuff that happens in the chat. 
Okay. Testing. I love starting stuff from scratch again. It just feels good. Wow, my my logo needs help. Okay. Um where was I? One, two, three. I'm looking for their employee directory with their active directory. Okay, that's nifty. So let's see if I can get to this. Information oh, gathering want to, want module initiated. Employee directory. <clears throat> okay, and I'm looking for their who? Client relations. You get distracted once and crazy. Blah 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 blah. Head of client relations or business accounts. Fancy. I'm gonna add that to the file. Okay, client relations or business accounts. I'm just gonna go through everything else because I'm nosy. Ah, uh, printers, I don't know. Okay. Policies. Oh, oh, there's a password policy. Oh, look at that. I'm writing that down. Password policy. Okay, it's SHA1. With the min, eight, max, 16 characters. Symbol requirement. And uppercase. Look at that. Okay, that's cool. Alright, that was, that was, see, being nosy paid off. Leave it. Okay. Whoa, what's this? Lawyer. Okay. Yeah, electric companies need lawyers. We need to blow up. <coughs> you got a couple lawyers on payroll. Fun. And we got the IT people. This is IT coordinator. Amanda. Senior IT. Hilder. Okay. That sounds very Icelandic. HR. Chief HR officer. Ah, that's important. Administrative assistant. Whatever that's supposed to be. They do add assistance though. Finance. Ah, these the people that pay. Director. Herman Hollis. Okay. Jacqueline Tate. Fun. Alright, meat, meat and potatoes will work. Prime relations. Okay, we've got administrative assistant. Okay. We've got head of client. Oh, wow. Head of client relations. That literally is exactly what we're looking for. Okay. Email. Hey. Big, okay, so. Well, why can't I type? There we go. I typed to a. Right. Head of client relations. Christ Vin Big Nice Email K Big Nice Son At Land Merc John Doc I gotta get the chat up. Here we go. Okay, so that was useful. Alright, so there was a password policy that was useful and head of client relations. So, the next logical thing to do is break into the, 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 the account of the head of client relations. So, Let's see, on a network, where would I go to find their company database for, their, for the list of their highest consumers? Okay, so I'm in their active directory, but I want to go into the what? I want to go into, let's see what else I can do. Employee directory, tech sectors. Client accounts. I want to go to client accounts. Okay. And that is where I will go. Thanks for the employee directories and client accounts. So that was client accounts database, database directory. Okay. 
Okay. Look at that. Client accounts. Really? No. That, they look the same. Cannot find active directory. Oh, I guess it is an active directory. Oh, this, this is the only active directory that there is. So, let's see. Ah, yes. Okay, there is another way to do this. Turbine C2 registry yeah. initiated. So there's two types of men in the middle. So there's ARB, which we'll look at two different targets. No ARB men in the middle. Let's see if anyone's using L, L, M, and R traffic. Oh, there's a few people here. Okay. So just to refresh my memory, L, M, and R. What is L, L, M, and R? Let's see. L, L, M, and R is important to this mission. Link local multicast name resolution. Okay, so this is link local or local network traffic. How to disable LLM and R. Why you want to? Okay. Sure. Well, they did not help disable it. No. Oh, look at that. Client relations. We would like to see traffic from client relations. And I'm going to pretend to be the internet. So that every time they need to send traffic through the router, they connect to me. Okay, video, uh, I don't know that. URL snappers. Uh, maybe it's worth a shot. Network intrusion module they might have a initiated. That I can hydrate to break. But I do have a password policy. Ah, there's no URLs. I'll leave that open. Okay, and man, middle, cool hat. Skip it the pack. Network so intrusion network. module initiated. Alright, it's like a, a wire shark number. Oh, we've got some IP addresses here. It's pretty nifty. Whoa, what was that? Standard query. Okay. So, from 40.3. One dot one. This is the router. <laughs> Response accepted. Client. Client. That's that's cool. Client. Dot lens. Lens. Dot com. HTTP. Oh, I'm looking for. Oh, there's just so many things going on. Let's see if that can work. I want to give a hydrogen shot just in case. Information gathering this module is not initiated. Hydra. This, is, this is the ghetto version of it. Protocol not found. Real hydrogen just brute force is the actual username. Oh, whoa, hello, what is what is this? Whoa, hello, hello, hello. Whoa, whoa. Stop that. Accepted? Oh, that's even better. This is, this looks like, this looks like a, a, a password. Okay, credentials. That, now this one was fail. I don't know why they're typing it so many times. Maybe they logged out. Maybe it broke. Cool. And that is, that was traffic was sent to 40.1, 40.3. 40.3 was the client relations. So 40.1 is the mainframe. I'm curious, could I get mainframe traffic? Can I hear that? Routing. I guess the game doesn't like that, but technically, real life, that would work. Okay, so I'll go to 198.192.168.40.1. No network. Just kidding, it's not actually there. Games, uh, tools are not organized very good. Uh, technically, that's Information not gathering module initiated. Directory. Game's kind of bad. Not. That's, that's the only thing that I can type in. It was really dumb. Uh, 40. No 
file system found. Okay, that's not that not supposed to happen. Not supposed to work. Okay, where is this? Looking for a login. Oh, I'm smart. Why don't I go to Oh. Did I continue it? Oh, that's fine. We're we gonna give the after directory. Information Duh. gathering module 40. initiated. 40. 3. No you are also going on there. Information gathering module initiated. Net scan. Okay, client account database. Employees active directory. This is something else. Uh, no, 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 there's a file explorer. There we go. And it's in the wrong section it's under data forensics. No. Oh, the game is just taking this. There we go. Oh my god. That. I'm just. Get this game. So funny. Alright, thank you, Packet Snipper. Uh, so, I've got a password. Hash, which has her username, client accounts. This looks like this password right here. So I will load Turbine oh C2 registry initiated. I will load this into the password. Password attack and intrusion module initiated. Okay, so the hash copy. I'm going to first attempt to copy the whole thing through, and if that doesn't work, then I'll copy the hash. Okay, Target I like, acquired. Like that. I Awaiting like that. variables to launch attack. And it was a SHA-1 rainbow table. Oh, cool. The, okay, uppercase, minimum characters were... 8, 16... At least one symbol. Symbol uppercase. Okay. Let's start Attack that. launched. I right, so that looks like it will be running for a little over three minutes tops. Which is pretty cool. Password oh, successfully wow, compromised. Good. That was that was really fast actually. Midnight Sun password. We're gonna log in. Okay. Gonna have that. Internal docs. 2019. Oh. <laughs> Pop consumers by consumption. Oh. Fun. Okay. The info sheet for each of these accounts include our top contact person. Be sure to add these people to your whitelist and prioritize communication. There are complaints you receive from them. The upstarts may be able to lower rates for professional service. Be sure to keep our top customers happy. <coughs> okay. So there's a list of companies here. So I just put out. We got a list here. This was useful. Thank goodness it's on the stream. Yes, I'll close the That's funny. One word? Nope. I'll just use top lines for you. Okay. Rio got Noro got Alco. Moon Bernie. Strock. Got Genesis Omni Origo Flush Luch 
flush. To me, old, older, L, H, B, fittest. Okay. From top to bottom. Alright, that's pretty cool. And then this is their power consumption. Okay, top consumer contact list. Oh, hello. <clears throat> okay. So, Rio is. That's not right. Yeah. And wait, so real? Let's see. The hints or the the document really. Many traditional mining mineral processing companies, along with legitimate crypto mining center farms, are all running out of ice. Focus my attention on solely on companies that consume more energy than the state of line of work should require. So basically. What this says to me is anything that is normal mining or mineral processing with or crypto mining that state that they're gonna use a lot of power and they use a lot of power are actually not suspicious at all. I'm gonna be looking for weird companies that use a ton of power. So basically anything on this top ten list is gonna be suspicious. If it's not crypto mining, power mining, uh, mining and whatnot. So we'll see. So Rio, Rio is a mining company. Oh, there's stuff like that. Mining. Noro is an example of mining. Alco, another mining company. Yeah, they use a lot of power. Moon is a, cri a cryptocurrency company. Crypto. Verne is fishing okay well if you're gonna be fishing you need fishing rods fishing nets bay net ping equipment a boat which uses gasoline that's a little weird that that this this is this is on the weird list the fishing companies don't use that much power not from what I can I'm not a fisherman by any stretch of the uh, mean, but I don't. I think there's something a little weird about that. So I'll, I'll go through the rest of this before I continue. <laughs> Strock is another fishing company. Do fishing companies really use them too far? Really? I did not know fishing companies used that much power. Fishing and. Okay. Maybe, maybe they do. I don't know. Crypto. Gene Omni. Where's Omni? Construction. I feel like construction. A lot of power. Ol Origo. Infotech. Yeah, when you use a lot of computers, you use a lot of power. That makes sense. Flush. That is also crypto. Simi. That is telecommunications. What's strange is that there's two fishing companies back to back. Which maybe they use a lot of power. I don't know. Bulger. They're a brewery. They do breweries use a lot of power. They Beer or other alcoholic beverages. Oh, that's okay. They've been in customer for a while too. I mean, this was the 2019 quarter one. They've been a, maybe brewers to use a lot of power. Uh, they don't give me too much information, so I don't really. Have too much context to see how much power they actually use. Eam. Eam uses logistics. That could, that, that, that could mean so many things. So many things. HB Grad, another fishing company. Okay, I'm, I'm not even another fishing company. 
So, fishing, 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 fishing. Infotech, that makes sense. Crypto, crypto, crypto mining, telecommunications. Okay, so the one-offs are logistics, brewery, telecommunications, and information technology, uh, as well as construction. I believe construction. Info, technology, that's pretty vague, so I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna mark that's vague. I, I guess it's not weird if you use a lot of power as a fishing company, I guess you have to, uh, uh, use a lot of power to crane around the fish. You gotta cut a lot of fish. That's vague, telecommunications. That, that makes sense though. Brewery, uh, check this, and uh, logistics. Check fishing. I mean, do you use power for moving around shipping containers? The trucks and cars use gas. So, meh, maybe. Who knows? Okay, and then they have their URLs as well. So let's see. I'm gonna start with the the most questionable one. Older, I, I just don't think that brewery companies use that much power. So I'm gonna check out. If I am wrong, then I guess they do use a lot of power. Okay. Uh, I am next. I'll just write down the URLs and then I'll check them out one by one. E I M S K I P dot com, and then Orico. I really, I, I just don't feel very, like, it, this doesn't jump out as suspicious to me. The most suspicious one, it's based on what I know, is the brewery. And then, I might not have all the information on that. HB Fishing, Fishing. I'm just gonna throw out the fishing ones for now. There's four fishing companies. Okay. The construction, I feel like, uses a lot of power to me, so who knows. Uh, I'll ch I'll check I'll check since it's a one off. Now I'm wondering. I really wonder. The sector global. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see. Old you get is old, which is. I mean, it's possible they're running a crypto mining company for basically 80s, uh, 30 years, almost 40 years, not like that. Then we've got L. I'm, that's 2002, we've got Origo, 2010, that's pretty new, less than 10 years, and there's Omni Sector Global, that's a little over 10 years. Um, I want to check the brewery first, but the, due to the year, I want to check Arigo first. Uh, I think that's, the brewery's been around for a while, so that's why I'm not really too freaked out about that. Information gathering module initiated. All right. So, same. 60 seconds there. Information gathering module initiated. Custom command here. Here we go. Okay, there's literally nothing popping up for this infotech company. Nothing. Okay. Uh, be worth it. Yeah, Information Off gathering there. module initiated. Web server. Sure. I I doubt it though. Because web servers are specifically designed to be client facing. They're not going to really have like update vulnerabilities. It's worth a shot, and it's not good. 
Oh, I just closed out that. Whoops. Uh... Information gathering module initiated. Oh, good. It was the S buzz. I don't like typing. That's a hundred. Okay. On on the section. Well, that's the next one. I just, I just do a 30 second one. No need to do it too long. Well, they got some hits, that's for sure. Client admin. Okay. We'll check out Omni. Omni was the destruction. Okay, well, we're, get, we're getting some subdomains. Okay, I got one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm ready. Again. Information gathering module initiated. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna just skip the W until the end. So that Information was gathering module initiated. That was admin. Next is careers. Yeah, I'm fine, it's fine. Admin. Okay, there's enough one. I'll do www now. Oh! Hello. Okay, well, uh, Omni... Well, Omni has a vulnerability. Oh, a yeah, quick look around would hurt. That in there. So, what's vulnerable? Why is everyone's uh, career subdomain just broken? Really? Okay, Apache. 2.2. Unport 82. Okay, Apache is just a web server. Uh, vulnerable. Okay. Do a exploit DB. Information gathering module initiated. Search. Apache 2.2. No. There we go. Search exploits. TCP IP. Okay, standard TCP traffic with a alpha exploit. Let's see. Okay, buff. Okay, buffer overflow. So there's too much data. A remote execute arbitrary code through the host header or the host name. This vulnerability is covered in your alpha exploit. Cool. Okay. I love Fox how Acid like, Server Landis. Connection initiated. Like, they're, they're traffic's gonna be like, Landis, you, your computer's attacked us. What? What are you talking about? Look in the logs. That's your IP address is that sent us all these uh, this malicious traffic. Funny. That script is just a pre uh, written script that is designed to break stuff. Thanks, Om. Fox Acid Attack launched. Alright, and we're it's looking smooth. Fox Acid Attack successful. Fantastic. Connection yeah. completed. Okay. Same thing as before. Going deep into this, uh, this network. Just Information out gathering I module scattered. initiated. Check out. See if there's anything to listen to. No harp poison. Oh, oh, we got some targets here. Oh, we got these, these names. I don't know what those are. Okay. There are some IP addresses when doing a network scan, which is kind of promising. Okay. F to human resources, strategy, marketing, search reports. I'm gonna go to the file browser. Maybe just anonymous plugins are useful. No file system found. This one is saying, uh, 
companies, database, for the highest consumers. Okay, once I'm in these companies, look for large amounts of technical staff and accounting inconsistencies. These are suspicious receipts and invoices. And whoever has been there long. Okay, a lot of amount of technical staff, so I need to basically find uh, the archives backups. I would like an active directory, that's what I would want. So Information directory. gathering module initiated. Um none of these actually say specifically that it's active directory. Uh let's see, accounting, backups. It literally will say actor like employee ID and whatnot. Um, okay, sales reports. That would be that would be a file. Like, that's just a file. Oh, well, there's not really too much on this network. I, I did see some IP addresses here, but probably. I mean, I I can brute force all of these. It's not an issue. No. No. I think there's a there's something like if it doesn't say the name, a high probability that it's just not gonna connect. Okay, yeah, it, it, there's nothing really here. <clears throat> so we hit a dead end on here. No access to anything. Uh, Information gathering module Very initiated. Very I was right. Okay, well, that's all me for you. Uh, VPN. We got a VPN there. Okay, a brewery. Uh, we'll, ch we'll check it, even though it had some history. Maybe they've just been, uh, just, uh, bamboozling power companies. For so long. It's very possible. Information gathering module initiated. That's uh, 30 seconds. Information gathering module initiated. Okay, exports. I just do the fingerprint scans as they come up. Information gathering module initiated. Fingerprint exports. Yeah, exports. We've got the main web server www. So if exports is vulnerable, it's not really a, a way unless we get more info. We can get it. I'll do the www just 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 to do it. Time skip logistics, whatever that's supposed to be. Run a buzz on the subdomains for 30 seconds. Realistically, it's the word list that runs, not just a random place, which is fine. You need something like derp. I'm skip nothing. What? I think I, I clicked on the wrong weird. Did I spell it right? E I M S K I P dot com. Okay. Like, there's like literally no domains with it. Um Okay, I guess there's Simi, which is the other one. So I will check Simi. Oh, I just closed that document too. That's fine. Telecommunications. Okay. Oh, the, they're relatively new? That's, that's sketchy enough. That's good. They are seven 
maybe eight years old. Ah, oh, wow, you can barely see the highlight on it. It's crazy. Okay. Simmon. Information gathering module initiated. At least the WWW shows up. God. Help. Okay, there's up to five simultaneous sources. Limit. I mean, it's basically Bing and Google. On this. There's Dr. Go and all the other things as well. Act my. Are we still in? Omni, okay. I mean, Omni sector is in construction, which I don't think is sketchy at all. Like, I, I honestly don't. I don't know why it's weird. Okay, well, it was, uh, Omni, I mean, Omni was the only thing with a uh, broken network. That's relatively new. Relatively So, there might be something else in Omni. That I'm missing. Let's see. Hide. Social engineering. I don't know. Password attack. Dude, hack. Social engineering. Maybe. Pretty possible. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what we need here. Information gathering module results. initiated. Oh, did I dig all of these? I don't know if I digged all of these. I'm gonna dig. Amazon V S F T V D Net Suite Sales reports. Oh they're all clean. This is not the most fun thing to do when you hit a block. You know, there, it's possible that there are other domains. I've had this information before, gathering module where there's just, initiated. There's new domains on the network that you weren't able to find earlier. Let's see. Now I forget if it's done. open source intelligence or it's done through Buzz. information Buzz gathering shop. module initiated oh <laughs> oh hello intra mail that's new man these is not intuitive at all I, I just want to say Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going to check that out. Fingerprints. Okay. Information gathering module initiated. Alright, crossing my fingers for the fingerprint. Let's see if it's vulnerable. It should be. I want it to be. Let's see it. Oh my god, it's not. Oh, so sad. 
I thought I thought that was it. I mean. Back to the drawing board. Oh, I need to scan. Is it a thousand? What other sites are there? What did I do it on? I wonder if that will be. Very curious. Source intelligence sources weren't able to find the buzzer now. What if I fuzz it for a minute? I'm also gonna check the Inframail. Information gathering module initiated. I wanna get into not I wanna get into their employee database. Might be in careers as well. Oh, we're already there. I just need to bounce off something else. This is the only company type that has it's open in Apache 2.2. I've already done that. Uh, nothing's showing up for a minute search. Okay, well, Omni... Omni was accessible here. No one can tag me. Alright, 
this. So yeah, this, this came back with exports. Like, I really want exports to be broken. I don't know if that's horrible. Oh, what? I was having the wedding shortcut. Breaks the game. Yeah, it's just the two of them. Oh, man. Okay. Social. Is it bad? Like, I want them to, to, to be <laughs> uh, the person. I just don't know how brewery companies use that much power. Uh, build email database. No. He's leaves. Okay, only well, we tissue set to a, uh, email crawler from... Oh, God. That's not it. I apparently okay, so there's not really a vector to attack breweries. It's not the brewery. What about them? How the communications come? What about I'm skip with no domains? Really weird. Like their main domain didn't exist. Target domain not found. What about Omnicentral Global? That's a really Every company sounds sketchy when you break it down. You need target domain. Okay. The game wants very specific input. Very specific. Okay, so social engineering is not, not going to work. I don't want to see no domains. No, nothing. No, no, no volumes. Ah. Uh, I didn't, I didn't take the notes down for Simmons. Simmon. I think it was, I think it was clean, too. But. That's just gonna run for a bit. <laughs> oh, I saw blue lights. Okay. Literally nothing. No bones, no bones, no domains. I don't, I don't really know what nothing means, honestly. So I, I, gotta, I think I think a thousand is way too high. Then. So I'll do. I also think 60 seconds is too long, most of them pop about 30. Nothing. Oh, that... That... 
just because I did not do it the right. No, no, no. That needs a. Uh... How do I cancel? That? There we go. W W W. I I ran the longest freaking scan. No, they're good clean. Those are no volts. No volts. No volts, no volts, no domains, just in general. Oh, do I want to do crypto and fishing companies? Not really. There's so many of them. Okay, I'll start with the top fishing company. I'll, I'll start I'll start with the top fishing company. Top fishing company, Bernie. Wrong document. Bernie is where? Uh, where is it? Oh. Oh. Huh. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is the number two. 2012. Seven, eight years. Second time buzzing. That's fine. We got all we got to make. That helps. But will there be more? Did I miss something on one of these types? Oh gosh. Right, I'll, I'll run the figure. Let's see. It is. Just a wild goose hunt chase. Well, actually, okay, I want I want to do this one. I'm just gonna go and jump back into Omni since we do have access to it. And it might not be a bad. At least we can get a name of someone on a construction company that can be have some due diligence done. I cannot see the highlighting of that at all. It, it was horrible. Oh! Oh! That's a fishing company. Maybe it's fishing. Uh, I, I, I really don't know. Oh my god. I do not know enough about the fishing industry to say whether or not there's a lot of power. No clue. I'd love to do fingerprints because of multiple different domains. That would be really fancy. That, that would make a lot of sense. But no. Much sense. Okay. Let's see. Is there an investor? Uh, web portal vulnerable and will investors want to invest oh my god
I was basically a VPN right there. Okay. Oh wow. Strock has only been a company for three or four years. Information oh, gathering stuff. module initiated. Okay. Hey, search HP. HP SNMP simple network management protocol. PHP enforcer versions. There are a lot of execute code. UDP via format strings. SNMP get call. Fox Acid Server Connection Initiated Fox Acid Attack Launched Fox Acid Attack Successful. Connection completed. Oh, you're bad. That. 100%. I just gotta redo the fuzz here. In case there's more than three. What was oh investors? Investors turn up home. Oh, I still see three. That's fine. That's, that's good. I just want to put every single one of these companies. Information gathering module initiated. Local network traffic. No, our local network shares. More specific. <laughs> oh. Oh. Information gathering module initiated. That's their AD. Okay. Okay, just to refresh on the notes, it's been a period of time. Large amounts of technical staff and county inconsistencies or suspicious receipts of invoices. Okay, cool. Let's see. How many how much IT staff do we have? Wow. That's a lot. A lot of IT stuff. Cool. What else do you have? I have a feeling it might be stopped. That status details. Backups. Where? Is this a file directory that I can access? No file system found. Maybe it's not publicly accessible, but these are file systems. Where else are the files going? Okay. So let's see the county. Oh, okay. And then it says the most senior person. So we got uh, 2018. Carolyn Russell. I'm really gonna do it. I'm gonna map them all out. The copy and paste. Please be Please be copy and paste. Oh my god. Don't, like, don't call my wolf. Or don't call me on it. But oh uh, Carolyn. I just I just do that. Then I have to get uh 
September 23rd, 2018. Okay, that's what Carolyn's trying Let's see. Sigmund. Oh, God. Sig. Oh, this person. This person last. Oh, what I'll do is I will only add the person that has a, a higher seniority or has just been company longer than my oldest person. That way, I don't want to die. That was uh, October. October 21st, 2017. The most senior person. Okay. So, Sig. Sig. Sigma? Sig. Whatever it is. <clears throat> okay, HR. 2016. Wow. It's Leo. Leo Sumar. Luis Sun. And then it's October 20th. It's a check person though. Every cryptocurrency. It's not. Oh, Charlie Master. February twentieth, twenty fifteen. Charlie Master. Okay. I still need that information to really confirm this. So I need to check out someone in accounting accountant and chief accountant. I want the chief accountant. Chief accountant. Sigmund Mar uh Tianson. Okay. And his email is smart. E-I-N-S-S-O-N -S -S Oh, that's his username. And that's just based on like every username that I've ever really seen in this game. So, let's see... Users reset host. Okay, so was there an accounting... No, server backups. Server status. Okay, well, I'm in 
the network. Oh, I can also do a meta in the middle. Let's see if there's any. First, check ARP. This is the protocol that runs on network. No ARP. LMNR. LLMNR. Not horrible. No, I just I'm brute forcing all these. That that is not gonna work. One, one, it's six. These are typically users in the network. You know how many labels in this one? Probably not more. I don't even have targets. Password attack and intrusion Target. module initiated. Even attacks. I mean, the active directory is really useful. No, maybe there's more. No, that's it. Resources. It's just printers. Legal. I want to see those. I want to see these. Passwords. Although. Ah, this, this might need a social link. Okay, let's do this. Build email database. So, if I type an email manually, oh, oh, that's, that's a form of cancer. I love it. Dash K U R S M Pump Pump. Okay. Let's cross my fingers. Work. Maybe target domain on that. I guess this is just like a some secret domain that does exist on the internet. Pair. <laughs> target. I don't have a target. Server. Place directory. Uh, I already run this. I just, I just run it for sixty second. I already ran on the thirty second, which prompted that client. I'm gonna pass my calls. I need to break it with something. Investor network. But that basically, so that's still connected back to the strong network. I don't have any information gathering here. module initiated. That suggests there is any accounting data to work with. Status is void directory. Okay, well I'm just I'm gonna send in his name. Such oh these are examples such as void. Yeah, you don't need that much tech stuff for fishing. Uh, uh, company, and it's just it's most senior employees most likely to be connected to it. it. Doesn't mean that they are connected to it. So that's enough for me to say that that person is politely suspicious. Like, what have you been doing? Okay, realistically though, it's like, what have you been doing for in IT that for that long? Fishing company. The first person that helps with like, the website basically sets up all this broken stuff. What are the other eight people do? Question I have. And the person that runs. Oh my god. We got it. Okay, so Charlie Mass, that was the person. Ransomware part two, that's going to be done another time since it takes a bit of mapping to get a lot of this stuff done and that has its own briefing document. So I'll pop that up and then I'll start on that next time. Right here. We've got Ransomware part two. I love it. Oh, this, these documents are great. All right. Well, that's going to be all for this night. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Take care.
and stay sharp.